What's up everybody? Welcome back. I'm trying something a little bit different for this video. I am outside, as you can see. I am with my beautiful girlfriend, Autumn Schrock, and we are actually taking product photos today for the Shimoda Women's Action X backpack. It's a camera bag. We love it. It's really cool. I'm actually wearing a, a Shimoda backpack as well, so you can tell we actually like them. It's not just for the photos. But I wanted to talk you through a little bit of how we take commercial photos while we are in the wild. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit about our settings, how we frame the shots, and just kind of take you along on the adventure. We are climbing about a 12,000 foot mountain today, so we've got a little bit of a hike in front of us, but let's get started. <laughs> About a mile from the top, we saw this giant moon rising and we figured it would be super cool to try and frame the backpack plus the moon in the same shot. Okay, so I've got Autumn over there silhouetted on the landscape. She's propped up on a rock and I'm using a 400 millimeter lens. I'm gonna zoom all the way in with this and use telephoto compression to draw that moon in. It's gonna make it look huge behind her. I'm shooting a pretty minimalist frame. It's just the rocks, her, and then a giant moon behind her, kind of a clean, lot of negative space with the blue sky with any, without any clouds in it. Uh, and it should look pretty cool. I also stopped down to F9 to give it a little bit of a deeper depth of field. And that way the moon and her can both be in focus at the same time. And that's gonna create a really cool dynamic shot, very clean, very crisp. Uh, you know, again, we're trying to focus on the backpack, so I don't want too many distractions. I don't want too much of a complicated shot. Okay, so we're basically on the summit right now, and we found this just beautiful ridge line overlooking a bunch of alpine lakes, uh, the rest of the High Uinta Mountains. It's just gorgeous. We're officially in golden hour now, so I put on the 70 to 200. I'm still gonna do a little bit of that telephoto compression to make the mountains behind her look bigger, but I'm shooting directly into the sun. I'm backlighting autumn with the sun. I love that golden flare. I know that one of the rules of thumb with photography used to be don't backlight your subject. Uh, but with modern camera sensors and lenses, you can definitely get away with it, and it's just a gorgeous look. So we're going to put our camera in high burst. I'm going to put it on a pretty fast shutter speed to freeze the motion, because I don't want motion blur of her walking. And honestly, this is one of those where I'm probably going to take 100 photos on burst, but I'm just looking for that one photo where her leg position and body position is perfect, and that will be the banner shot that I'm going for. So full disclosure, we got a little carried away shooting the beautiful golden hour light in this location. So we ended up sprinting to the summit and I didn't film any of it, but the shots at the top were absolutely worth the effort. All right, everybody, we did it. We got a bunch of great photos while we were out here. We had a beautiful sunset on top of a mountain. Look at that, the moon is still hanging out with us. Life is pretty good, my friends. This is what I live for. Uh, everyone say a special thank you to my beautiful girlfriend, Autumn Schrock, for helping us out, modeling, and also for being a Shimoda ambassador, because that's actually the reason why I'm here as well. And if you liked this, please click like, Click subscribe, leave a comment below, tell all your friends, write a letter to the Pope, and I would say also petition Parliament to get me a seat on the King's High Council. Uh, thank you so much. My name is Nate in the Wild. I'll see you next time. <laughs>